So I've got the same type of question, really two different questions, but it's the same concept. Someone asked weeks ago, why I don't just in Vegas uh, look at what I make per hour, you know, separated by casino and only play that room. And someone just a few days ago asked why I don't just pick the city where I make the most money and just play there nonstop for about six months and then go somewhere else. The thing is, I could do that, I have the data. I could calculate those numbers. But let's say for example, in Vegas, Caesars Palace over the last couple years has been my best hourly. And let's say it's $25 per hour. If that's true, Caesars is number one when I list rooms by hourly, and it is $25 per hour under the circumstances that have existed for the past couple of years. When I play Caesars sparingly, that's the number. I go there occasionally when it's a very boring game and games are just breaking all the time. I've been there at like 5 p.m. and seen like three games break in 45 minutes. I go to Bellagio or I walk to Venetian or I walk to Bally's or I walk to Harrah's and take the monorail to Sahara or MGM. I don't force it. So when it's a poor game, I leave. And when there's like a lot of full tables and new tables starting up and it's fun and it's social, then I stay. So there's bias in that because I don't force hours during bad times of day. So if I all of a sudden decided, oh, look at that. Since uh, beginning of 2021, I'm making the most money at Caesars. I'm just gonna force 40 hours at Caesars every single week and then play a little bit elsewhere. It wouldn't be the same. I would be there like late morning. I would be there even like some Friday evenings when it's just like very quiet or a lot of games are breaking and it's not good conditions. So the number is the number because of how I bounce casinos. And it wouldn't be the same if I just played there and nowhere else. The number would change. Same thing with cities. Whatever I make in uh, right here, I'm still in Council Bluffs. Whatever I make in Council Bluffs, it's the case because, you know, during law school, it was just weekends. Like, I had class, and then on the weekends, I came here. And I think one spring break week, I played the entire week here. And I played a lot uh, during winter break. Not only did I have off as a student, a lot of people have off around Christmas time and New Year's. So I was playing when there were busy social games, and like everyone in the area had time off. And even now, it's sparingly, I'm not forcing it. I was here last summer and people, even if they're not professors, seem to have off in the summer. So it was pretty busy and now, end of summer, same thing. A lot of people had off a lot of days in August. I got here mid-August, so there's bias, there's inherent bias in that number. And I can't just look what city or what room do I make the most money per hour and then just you know play there 500 hours straight over the course of six months. Uh, it just, it wouldn't work like that. So I do things the way I do them. I'm trying to attain the same goal. I'm trying to maximize my money, but the way of doing that isn't just playing Caesars every single day when I'm in Vegas. It's going somewhere, and if the game's great, stay, and if the game, if the game is poor, move somewhere else. So I'm trying to achieve the same mission. It's just that I don't think the way to accomplish it is to just look back at the past few months, few years of data, and then just stick to one place and never go anywhere else.